बात इवन दी फ्लाइट डिटेल्स हैव यू हैव यू हर्ड अबाउट कनाडा द थिंग दैट इज गोइंग ऑन विद कनाडा इट इज सो वियर्ड मैन लाइक ऑल द रूट्स दैट दे हैव स्टार्टेड सो फॉर आवर व्यूअर्स कनाडा इज नॉट अलाउड इंडियन स्टूडेंट्स डायरेक्टली डायरेक्टली टू फ्लाई इनटू कनाडा so our travel agent community because we live in a country like india <laughs> they they have created a unique system where they are bypassing international laws probably using the biggest loophole ever so what they are doing is they are you, you know about this right? yes. so they are flying people from india to maldives maldives, maldives you get a rt pcr done for 3 days you stay there for 3 days and then you fly to either cairo Ukraine, in, cairo or athens Ukraine, athens greece so all these places which canada would never suspect an indian to come from <laughs> like which canadian embassy would be expecting an indian dude from anand or i don't know uh, somewhere baroda baroda to walk into uh, pearson airport from like greece or say yes. ukraine i would be scared to go to ukraine man if you got a chance like if you had to reach canada in like Say five days from now, and it must be taking time also. How Absolutely, time five to six days is minimum time. What each and every student is taking right now to reach there. So, and all those five to six days, you are practically just transiting through airports. And airports, stuff, right? or you are staying in hotels. Or staying in hotels. In fact, hotels. recent news is Maldives hotels are filled with Indian students. I don't okay. want to make it public, but yes, that is okay. the that is truth the right now. So, Maldivian government is great. You have helped us, our <laughs> travel agent industry, with a loophole. Thank you. Uh, for our viewers, Maldive government did, did not sponsor this video. They had nothing to do with this video, of course. <laughs> uh, but I wish they would someday sponsor this. Maybe, 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 why not? Maybe you never know. And uh, but yeah, they are doing a great thing. So what do students do, man? Once they go to Maldives, they stay in like a hotel for three days. I mean, uh, as far as I know, Maldives is a couple-friendly place. And uh, yeah, I don't so, know how romantic each and every student would be. <laughs> <in Maldives. laughs> so you can imagine staying in a hotel in maldives and doing one thing yeah yeah practically that and uh, I, i don't know would you be comfortable going to a country like ukraine man if if you had to go to canada like in 7 days uh if i have to go to canada for studying i would not prefer going to ukraine yeah. but if i had to go there for a visit yes definitely i would visit ukraine once okay but not for this route uh, bypassing this law right now okay But I think it's a big loophole, right? What if Canada some finds out about this and decides to like uh, cut this route midway and uh, everyone with an Indian passport can't travel or something like that? I don't think they would do because Get each and economy. every student is coming with a revenue. Okay. If you see as uh, their entire Canada, economy depends on us, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. I I think so. That is the case. So I don't think until until everybody is safe with COVID, I don't think they would stop. There is a I, I heard about this area in Toronto, which is Brampton or something, which is called Mini Punjab. Mini Punjab. People yeah. call it like Brampton <laughs> because it's Punjabi, man. So I don't think only Punjab is there. Gujarat is also everywhere in Toronto now. Okay. So it's great. Filled with Gujaratis. It's sad how many. I think Canada is like the Noah's Ark. So once yeah. everyone migrates to Canada, like the entire world population, the entire world population will be disposable. Like only in Canada. Do anything like do yeah. nuclear tests in Africa. I don't care. Throw a disease in India like COVID nineteen. Uh, but that's oh, why I theory. still have good friends from Canada. Okay. Uh, on my exchange, I had in fact. I, I, I think mean, Canada has a francophonic part, right? Like just while we were talking, I have a photo of a friend who's from Canada. Okay, uh, the the girl in the uh, yeah. Place, so right? I would not criticize that part, but okay. yeah, uh, it is absolutely political, which we cannot uh, decide right now. Yeah, and we are too inconsequential. Yes. I, I don't think this podcast is going to blow up that much. That Canada yes. government sees this. So again, for our viewers, Canada government did not sponsor this sure. podcast, but someday they might, and uh, that's what the hope is here. Bye.